has to be one of the most requested ASMR videos I have ever had. That's right. You read the title correctly. We're back. ASMR. Minecraft. Let's play. Now, let's get some ground rules straight up the bat. This world, this series, is on hardcore mode. So if I die even once, the let's play is over. Number two, this series, this Minecraft let's play hardcore mode series is in support. I will only continue doing these videos, these Minecraft Let's Play videos, this series, if, if you let me know by giving the video a like. All you have to do is gently tap that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below telling me you would want me to do this as a series. My goal is to make this the most relaxing ASMR Minecraft Let's Play of all time. So, you know what to do if you want part two. Why don't we begin? We have spawned. Looks like we need to make haste. So let's begin. I'm going to. Chop the wood, chop the wood. You may notice that we are using my custom. sounds that you are hearing, well, 99% of the sounds that you will be hearing in this Let's Play are custom made from my end, from scratch, using ASMR triggers in my studio. So, I hope you enjoy the ASMR triggers in this video. Now, the first thing we are doing is immediately crafting stone tools. They are incredibly important to ensure our survival in this unforgiving world. So, First of all, we must make haste. If we observe the sun, you can see that it is already almost midday, which means we need to accomplish a couple of tasks. The first thing I'm going to do is chop So, we are going to make haste and run through. Look at that. Look at those foxes. Now, here lies our second biggest priority. 
on day one of our new world. We need beds. So unfortunately, I will have to take the lives of these sheep. Sorry, it is very brutal, I understand, but it must be done. We are now running through this changed biome, which is no longer covered in frost, but is now covered in dirt. So, our goal is to in this first episode, establish the foundations, if you will, when it comes to creating any Minecraft world. We are running through a thick and ice cold day into the water. Very refreshing, very relaxing. Nice cold dip into the water. And we're going to traverse these mountainous terrain. And we are essentially going to be, as I said, looking for a couple of things to accomplish on our first day. One of my biggest priorities is to gather and procure some coal. What is that? Oh, it's a magma bit. these lands and essentially see if we can find some coal, find a cave system, a cabin for us to do As you can see, we have some cows here, which I will unfortunately take the lives of. I'm just going to turn down the... Oh, also I will turn up sound of that. Unfortunately, we have to take the lives of these cows. Now, it would seem as though we have come across a cave system. And what we are looking for essentially is coal. Now, it would seem as though we are slowly but surely running out of daylight. I believe I have found some iron in the side of this hill, which is most fantastic. So we're going to be... Oh! Would you look at that? A wall. How precious. Okay. We will have to find a friend immediately. My goodness. that is, isn't it? Wow, that is quite the spectacle. Okay, so as you can see, we are about to run out of daylight. So what I shall do is craft a comfortable, relaxing bed. And with this bed, we shall sleep through the night, peacefully, quietly, and relax with the wolves. So, just like in Minecraft, you also deserve to have an amazing night of rest. So, let us wait for the sun to set. As we relax into the covers, into the cushion, and let our eyes sink to the back of our skull and relax. So, it may be dangerous to sleep out in the broad open, but rest assured, we will not be disturbed during the night. to immediately 
I sleep when possible, so that way no mobs will spawn. And just like that, it is once again, once again daytime. Now, we must find some coal. That is one of the biggest priorities on our adventure here in the new world. Coal is incredibly important and necessary. Look at this beautiful. like it was just planted here out of nowhere. It seems like this isn't really the biome, but this sort of tree. Look how gorgeous the flowers and the flora is on this particular tree. Like as if this is a very special rare tree. Isn't it absolutely marvelous? What spectacles nature So, we're going to traverse, oh, well, there's another one, well, there goes that. We're going to traverse, and would you look at that? Civilization. It seems as though on our travels and our explorations, we have stumbled across a community. We are going to harvest the crops that have present, presented themselves here. On our adventure, of course, we shall be planned to help nourish the villagers. Good evening, sir. What do you have to bargain today? Oh, 32 sticks for one of your precious emeralds. Hmm. I can arrange that. I'll take two of your finest emeralds, Fletcher. Thank you very much, good sir. Good day to you. And if you don't mind, I'll also yoink some flint. Oh, this is actually most excellent with this flint and feathers. We will be able to create arrows. And that way we can As you can see, I am quite famished, so I could do with the lunch break. Absolutely delicious. Wow, three loaves of bread for breakfast, that's quite a lot of carbohydrates, I must say. However, given the circumstances, I was quite hungry. Why don't we traverse down? There's more lunch for us, immaculate. And of course, I shall take your finest potatoes there. Now don't worry, they have plenty of food to go around in this village. <gasps> Good day, sir. Would you by any chance be using this fine chest plate? No. Well, I insist I must give you some resources in return. I definitely cannot afford this trade, but here. A fine loaf of bread there. Enjoy that. I will gladly take your chest plate there, good sir. And I very much am appreciative of your services. I will also use your beautiful, beautiful campfire here to smoke some of, some of my meats. 
perhaps we can enjoy a meal together. Sir, what is your name, Mr. Armourer? Well, Mr. Armourer, I must say I am very appreciative of your hospitality and my times of need. This armour will certainly benefit me in combat, and on my journey I will never forget what you have done for me today. Truly. Here you go. Forgive me for my rudeness. I had no idea of your dietary requirements here. I insist take a loaf of bread instead then. No worries, no worries. Enjoy, enjoy. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to greet some of the other villagers. I'll be right back. All right. It looks like... Okay, okay, that's kind of, that's kind of mad, yo. <laughs> well, what do we have here? Seems like by the end of today I shall have a full set of iron armor. And it's kind of funny that we just unlocked four achievements for doing literally nothing. Alright, we take those. Well, I must say this village has been quite resourceful. certainly be back on a future date to take you up on that offer. You can see there's a village cow here, probably an integral member of the community. Good day, sir. How are you this fine evening? I see you've built yourself quite a little stall here. The butcher is a rabbit stew. Now that does sound delectable. Some rabbit stew. Quite tempting. Quite tempting there, my friend. And what do we have cooking here? Oh, that's... I, I'm sorry, I did not mean to disturb you, my friend. I see you had another customer there just before he left because he thought I was buying, but don't worry. Um, I'll, I'll get out of your hair. Enjoy the rest of your day. Good evening, gentlemen, ladies. What are we doing over here? I see we've gathered for our communal gathering here. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, no, please don't leave. I, I did not mean to scare you. I, I apologize, I apologize. Well, what's going on in here? Seems like a little bit of a house party, eh? That's not bad. Well, gentlemen, I do not mean to interrupt your privacy. I, I don't know what you two are doing together in those quarters of yours. It would seem as though one of the younglings has strapped themselves here. Allow me to help you there, good sir. Go back to your parents. Now, scrolling through, looks like here we have some more dwellings. Very comfortable dwellings here. Here we have some more spruce logs, which I will yoink. Oh, look at that, it's an iron column. I want to thank you, sir, for your services that you've done for this village. You've kept the 
community, very safe. And I would like to thank you on behalf of all of us here for keeping these grounds sacred and protected. Okay, so it looks like it's nearly night time here, so I shall go ahead and sleep here for the night. I'm quite a fan of the villages here, so perhaps we should make our home somewhere around this area so that we can have easy access and perhaps we can create a symbiotic relationship with the villagers here. Work together to create and grow this community into something absolutely magnificent. And they've been very hospitable to me. I'm extremely grateful for their generosity. They provided me with provided me with this beautiful, pristine set of armor, even a diamond, and let's not forget the incredible deals in the village town. Good morning. I believe we have checked out most of the village, and as you can see, they are doing very well here. There's many towns, many houses for sure. What's in this one? My goodness, another iron chest plate and obsidian. I'll see you later. My goodness, what a packed village. Absolutely fascinating. I would like to thank all of you for your generosity. Really, it has been so very helpful. And I will be forever grateful for everything you have all done here for me. But, alas, I must go on now. create myself a house. So, I think, my goodness, what a cave system that is, my friend. Do you see that? Wow. That drop would mean certain death, so I shall not entertain the thought of jumping that. Look at that, do you see that? like it is coal. However, it is a little bit out of reach for us. So why don't we go for a little swim and perhaps we can set up some sort of dwelling around. Well, relatively close to the village, I'd say perhaps across this lake here would be sufficient. Let's see. Looks. I have no idea what's going on there. I see, I see. Okay. Well, I would argue that a adequate place to create our home might be somewhere around about here, wouldn't you say? I'm quite a fan of this area, close to the village, close to the water. Okay, let's let's make our home right here. I think let's make our home right here, right by the sea, right by the water. So, I am in this episode at least just going to get the foundations set in stone. So my signature, my quintessential signature cozy cottage. Now, the cozy cottage really is one of the cornerstones of Minecraft houses. The cozy cottage is, frankly, just the perfect dwelling for just getting started in the game. Of course, Later on, as we progress, we can evolve the cozy cottage into a mansion. But, for all intents and purposes, when you're just getting settled into your new Minecraft world, the most practical, I would say, or argue, 
system you can put in place is a cozy cottage. And the cozy cottage, like I said, is just really, really so perfect for just getting the foundation set in stone, you know what I'm saying? So, all I'm doing here is just cleaning out some of the terrain here that might just come a little bit in the way of our dwelling. I'm just chopping down the trees here, just making sure that everything is clean and ready for construction. Now, I won't be building the entire cottage in this episode, I think, as that will take a fair bit of time, but what we can certainly do in this episode for sure is just set up the foundations of the cottage. Oh, it looks like it's raining. That's no good. Rain is certainly not helpful, but a little bit of drizzle did nobody any harm. In fact, let me see if I can turn on the weather. Oh, it is on. Okay. So, I believe for this cozy cottage, we should make it our flooring made out of solid oak logs. Now, it is a relatively expensive foundation for sure, however, I believe it just really creates just such a quaint, cute little atmosphere, if you will. And I believe I'll have my entrance out from here. So we want to go maybe one more. And one more here. Okay. Now, that seems pretty good. In fact, I actually can as this will be the actual walls themselves, so we can be a bit more efficient with the use of our oak logs. So, we are just going to essentially set up the flooring of our cottage. And it's not going to be too big, it's just going to be, like I said, a cozy little cottage is capable of essentially getting the bare fundamentals down. I will also place a crafting table here, and I suppose now would be a good time to make a chest while we are at it. Perhaps a double chest. Okay. to upgrade the quality of our tools and resources. Alright, beautiful. So we're going to continue chopping down. Chop, 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 Chopping down the oak for the flooring of our dwelling. And you can build this cozy cottage with really any oak logs that, well, oak is not the correct term, but you can really use any sort of uh, wooden logs that you choose. It can be jungle log, it can be acacia, birch, whatever really suits you. There's no um, rule you can custom make this however seems fit for your circumstances, your preferences, everyone prefers different sorts of woods. Personally, I'm a fan of um, oak logs in particular, but we are not really at a uh, 
sort of a birch or a regular forest biome so for our cozy cottage we shall be using the wood that we have here now the next thing I'm going to do is I just need to assess how big I'm wanting this I feel as though can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think ten by ten should do the trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It looks like it's about to be night time here if I'm correct. Which will mean we need to return back to the village. Or rather I can just place my bed. I would say right here for now. And we're just going to quickly make it day again. And all we're going to do is finish up our flooring for our cozy cottage. And like I said, once again, you can really use whatever you'd like for your flooring. Wool. You can use cobblestone, you can use whatever you'd like, really, it's really, there's no rule, there's no standard uh, plan you have to follow, it's really, just sort of do whatever you'd like. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I believe what we shall do Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we just need a few more logs here. Okay. It's going to be quite a big cottage, actually, now that I think about it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so for my I'm going to take out doors and just place them right here like so. Beautiful. And we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. So we are going to just grab a few more logs here. Just to be able to finish off the flooring of our cozy cottage and essentially just optimize that I think I'm going to have to cut down a few more trees We have now finished the flooring. So, next up, all we would need to do is do the walls. But I think we can go ahead and build a little staircase. I would think we can make it go down this way. Essentially, have a little 
basement area. And this basement area will function as just as extra storage for our goods, for our blocks, for our minerals, for our ores, for our um, really our other resources. We can even create a strip mining system here in this little basement of ours. I think it is really important to have a basement when you make a cottage as you need to maximize the space that you're working with. Now, personally, I like to actually decorate my basements and uh, there's all sorts of make some charcoal as we do not have any lighting going on here and the last thing we would want is for some mobs to start spawning so we're just going to mine out a little bit here you can see we found some copper copper is just so amazing really And then we shall go ahead and start building the perimeter of our cozy little cottage. Alright. Okay. So we can make coal finally. And we're just going to light up little cozy cottage here. The basement that is. So let's begin now with the walls. I just realized I need to put my doors forward here. Wait, that was correct, right? Um, yeah, like that. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. as well. So what we're doing now is creating a perimeter around our cozy little cottage. And again, you can really use whatever sort of wall um, you, want, you, you want. You can use just whatever is comfortable for you, whatever suits your needs. I prefer cobblestone because it just reminds me of that classic Minecraft, you know what I mean? Like, just that really classic era. And I think we'll have a nice big window right here just to view the tranquil lake. It's very tranquil, very relaxing. And I think even we'll use that pattern on all of the walls here. Beautiful, just like that. And even have a four by four window right here as well. Beautiful. And oh, would you look at that? It's a wandering traveler. Hello there. Oh wow, melon seed. 
that's quite the deals you're offering today there, Mr. Traveller. Well, unfortunately, I don't seem to have any of those, but, oh, I mean, makers of at home, really, you and your llamas are more than welcome here to keep me company. I shall name you Stephen. you'll have to consider when building your cozy cottages how tall you want your cozy cottage to be you can make it as short as you want as tall as you want whatever really suits you again there's no rules you can sort of make it however you wish but for our intents and purposes we're going to make it about this big And once again, we are coming to the night time. So we will sleep. And I think we will round up this episode of Minecraft Hardcore Survival shortly here. I'm just going to do one last thing, which is mix up. sand and essentially turn that sand into glass panes. Um, I'll use some wood here. I'm going to need to chop down a few more trees I think. Just because the cozy cottage is relatively easy to make doesn't mean that it's inexpensive. As you can see, it requires quite a lot of resources to really make any house, frankly. But I personally like my cozy cottages nice and grand, if you know what I'm saying. So just going to create some more blanks here. Just going to chuck that in there for now. And I know it's relatively inefficient to have this sort of system. We can now put our glass panes here. Sorry there, young man. Very good. So we are just going to finish off here the glass panes, if you will. And I will just wall off these parts right here. Need a bit more cobblestone. We'll let that glass sort of paints here to finish off the windows that we were making. Beautiful. All right. And finally, we'll just seal that off and seal this off. 
All right. Well, everyone, that is going to wrap up our first episode of Minecraft Hardcore Mode. I know we were doing a lot of the boring stuff, but it's important to get the foundations out of the way, as I was mentioning. If you want to see episode two, make sure to leave a like. And in the next episode, we will finish off our cozy cottage completely, as well as go, or at least begin, go going mining. So, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, travelers, I'll see you.